As promised in video two, we're going to install ROS. In this lesson, you're going to learn about the different ROS distributions. We're going to install ROS and then ultimately set up our ROS environment. Now, the first thing you need to know is that the ROS release cycle is closely tied around to the Ubuntu release cycle. And that plays a major picture in which ROS distribution or version you're going to download and install. So if you're running Ubuntu 13.10 and 14.04, you're going to need to use Indigo, um, ROS Indigo. If you're looking at Ubuntu 14.04 or 14.10 and 15.04, you're going to use uh, ROS Jade Turtle. And here we have another turtle. If you're using Ubuntu 15.10, 16.04, uh, you're going to use ROS Kinetic. And if you're using the latest version of Ubuntu 17.04, or you're also using 16.04 or 16.10, you can use uh, ROS Lunar. So those are the options based on the distribution um, that you're running. And there's, if you're using an older version of, of uh, ROS, uh, then you're gonna be using an older version of Ubuntu. Um, so you might actually wanna upgrade, but anyway, um, installation isn't too complicated. We simply just follow the steps on ROS.org slash install. Um, and we select the ROS distribution that matches with our Ubuntu distribution. So what we're going to do is we're just I'm going to go over those uh, steps on the website, and then we're going to get our environment set up. All right, peeps. Now I'm on ROS.org slash install. And I see the three latest versions of ROS. And so based on my Ubuntu version, I just click the appropriate one. Throughout this course, I'm going to be using ROS Kinetic. So I'll click on here. I already have ROS on my system, so I'm not going to actually copy and run the terminal commands. But I'm going to walk you through uh, what the commands are and just give you that uh, general guidance. Now, first things first. I agree with ROS. It is not recommended that you install ROS from source. Now, I've done it before, and it is a terribly painful thing. I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. But if for some reason you need to, see this link uh, on the uh, installation instructions from source. But for this course, we're using Ubuntu, so we don't need to do such a thing. Now, if we scroll down, you'll see that it gives us step-by-step step what we need to do to install ROS. As I'm sure you know, Ubuntu uses a package manager system to uh, download and verify the integrity of said packages. So the first two steps are gonna make sure that you have access to the ROS software repository. So you run those commands in the terminal and you should be good to go with that. After you run those commands, of course, you're going to update um, your list of repositories that you have access to because you just, um, you know, added a new key. So you're going to run sudo apt-get update. Now, here's the more interesting part. Here we see four installation options. So briefly, I'll go over through each one. Now, for this course, we're going to be using the first option, desktop full install. This is going to give us ROS and so many other libraries that give us simulation, navigation, all kinds of awesome things. It's a big download. It's a lot going on, but we need it all, especially since we're working with vision in this course. Yes, we're still going to do vision. The next option is the desktop install. That's only going to give us a few of some simulate very few simulation options and some basic ROS libraries. Now the next option is bare bones. Pretty much just give me the ROS messaging communication system. I don't need anything else. I'm too cool for school. We won't be doing that in this course. And if you do the bare bone option, likely you'll be downloading uh, a lot of packages individually. But like I said before, ROS is modular. So uh, you can use as much or as little um, as necessary. Next, the option is for installing individual ROS packages. So this is assuming that you have ROS installed. You can ins install a uh, individual ROS package 
also with um, the app get command, which is pretty cool. They didn't have that when I was coming up um, with Ross. Next, we're going to um, make sure that we have this dependency um, manager system going. So just run these two commands and that should kind of conclude kind of the installation portion. Now you definitely don't want to exclude step 1.6. So we have all the ROS uh, files downloaded. We have the package uh, repository, all of that on our system. Next, we need to run this command to update our environment variables. So this adds the ROS environment variables to our bash RC so that we can run those ROS terminal commands. And even as we do our raw run, you know, builds of different programs that we've written with ROS, we're going to need those environment variables set up and ready to go. And so obviously after you um, have your environment set up in file wise, you need to um, activate those variables. So you just do source uh, tilde slash dot bash RC to make sure that you have access to those updated environment variables. And if for some strange reason, you only want to change the environment of the terminal shell that you're working in, just source slash op slash rosh slash kinetic slash setup dot bash. Then once you're done, go ahead and install Python ROS install. That's going to help us to also be able to easily download some packages with their dependencies. But those are kind of the steps to get ROS installed. Now I'm going to head over to my terminal so that we can make sure our environment is set up properly. Okay, it would be nice to say that because we've installed ROS that our environment is set up and working properly, but that isn't always the case. So what we're gonna do is we're going to actually create a ROS workspace and build our workspace, even though nothing will really be in it. But when we build the workspace, we shouldn't get any crazy errors. And if we do, we know there's something wrong. So ROS uses a tool called Catkin to build a packages to build our software. It's the build tool for any ROS package, especially in a, well, in an up-to-date uh, ROS distribution. So first we're going to create our Catkin workspace. We're going to create a workspace called CVFR, Computer Vision for Robotics. So let's go in and do it. What this does is it creates a folder in my home directory called CVFR. And inside of that folder, we're making another directory called source. Now, we should be able to CD into this directory. And we see all we have in it is our source directory. Now, Catkin, when it runs its build, it should create some other files for us. And if it doesn't, we know we definitely have a problem because we're going to get an error that will likely be extremely confusing. But hopefully everything is working fine. So let's build our program. Let's build our workspace by using uh, the catkin make command. Now it's running and our screen should be bombarded by a uh, compilation. Um, so Ross and Catkin use CMake and there are a bunch of other libraries going on, but hopefully we don't have any errors. All right, so we see that it's run the command and no errors. So we can LS and see that now we have some more files. Well, we have these extra folders build and develop. So we're actually good to go. Now, if you're running Python 3 and you have Anaconda, that may be giving you a very gloomy, one of several possible gloomy error messages. So I can't really take the time to walk you through all the possible errors, but I will show you this since that could be quite common. Um, if you're getting an error and it's Python based uh, and you have Anaconda, you should comment out Anaconda from your bash RC and head over into the build folder. 
and you'll see cmakecache.txt. So I open that up and in there is a path for the Python executable. It could be very well something that was going on on my system that because Python 3 and ROS don't behave well together, you need to make sure that ROS is using Python 2. So you have to update the executable path appropriately. So I don't have time to go through all the other possible issues, but if you're seeing some strange Python error, that could potentially be it. But hopefully that's not you and all is well. And so assuming such, we now have ROS fully installed and we're ready to learn about ROS packages.